Welcome back everyone to the BD1P random character streak. Today is going to be a random tainted character run for win number 192. Today's question of the day, put your answer in the comments down below if you feel like it is going to be, what was your favorite grade of school? From anything from preschool to kindergarten to first grade all the way up to college, what was your favorite year of school and why? I think we're all going to have some kind of like, oh great, Tan Lazarus, all right. We're going to all have some kind of internal bias for the earlier years, but Seed is going to be LJ3XL97Z. Uh, and I, I'm no exception to that rule. I think that for sure my favorite years of schooling were definitely the grade school because it, it's all just like recess, pizza parties, and like movie days. It, there's nothing going on in grade school. Looking back, I mean, you had it easy back then, man. You had like three outside, you know, recess times a day. You had... Uh, like a fucking break time between every lesson. You had little games to play. You got candy every day from your teachers. Like you, you had a real fucking nice back then. And we took that for granted for sure. Uh, going into middle school though, it was also pretty fun. Middle school is like the fun of elementary school, but you also get treated more as like uh, an actual adult and you get more responsibilities. You still get, you know, well, at least we had that recess time after lunch. Uh, we had the fun little movie days, you know, in our science class every, like, Friday. So you still had the joy. Just a little bit less freedom of, of like, you know, going outside and doing fuck all. But you had a little bit more of that uh, responsibility and, and you got respected a bit more, I feel like, by your teachers. Plus, that's when, like, your organized clubs, like, your sports, like, track and field and, and drama club and stuff like that start. So you do get a lot more of a, a personality built up when you get into, like, middle school, high school. It's kind of weird when you look at it, like, all these kids that are in first to, like, fifth grade, I don't think kids really have a personality. And I've mentioned this before on the streak, and it goes back to, to my own. Ooh, okay. Uh, that's interesting. I think you do this for sure. The D100, does this roll both of our characters, uh, is my question. Because if it does then we're going to be in a really interesting place on this run and potentially a, a very, very, very free win. Um, like, obviously, kids have their predetermined interests. Like, some kids are really into sports when they're in, in middle school, or in elementary school, excuse me. Some kids are really into, like, Legos and, and dinosaurs, whatever the hell those nerds are into these days. And some kids are just, like, into books or, like, reading or whatever. And I think that those obviously play a part in what you interact with in your, your later school years like for example the lego kids might go into be the, the robotics club or the dinosaur kids might be in the fucking science club i don't know but i think it does help shape um your personality but i don't think it counts as having your own distinct personality yet at least i would argue that i did not have a personality i mean you don't need to have one when you're a kid right everyone's friends with everybody pretty much unless you're like an asshole kid who beats other people up on the playground for their fucking lunch money but primarily like you really don't have much to go off of so elementary school is kind of like that free just keep the kids busy until they're able to learn more complex things and that that does make for it can be a boring year, sure, but it can also be, like, a, a, a really fun set of just, like, recess and making friends. I think the most important part of, like, an elementary school is, like, the social aspect. Uh, I, I think that going into middle school is a big pressure uh, for kids to have, like, you know, an inner circle of friends or a best friend and stuff like that. And you kind of make those bonds uh, in your pre-judgmental phase when you're still in the elementary schools because nobody's judging another kid super, super hard. Like, if you meet a kid in kindergarten you are more than likely going to end up being good friends with them for at least a couple of, you know, years. If that falls through, so be it. My cat just sprinted <laughs> over, like, my chair into the bedroom. Okay, that was a very weird situation. But, um, you kind of just, it, it's for making those friends and keeping those friends, uh, throughout. Until you, until you don't need them anymore. Until you're, you're set and you have your own circle. Uh, for sure, I think that you could probably go without, like, half of the learning you do in elementary school and just leave it with the friends and have a, the same amount of, of education going into middle school and high school. And to be honest with you, I only really have, um, I, I would say one friend from my elementary school still, and we're not even that close. When I hit middle school, you, you find like a whole entire different group. At least the way my town functioned, it was like, this boss fight, by the way, is just hell on wheels. 
um, at least in my my uh, town, there were three middle or there were three elementary schools and then one middle school, one high school uh, for the the average normal kids. So, depending on which part of the town you lived in, you'd go to a different elementary school. The the more um, west side kids would go to the school called West Side. The sort of central kids would go to the school called Jackson. I shouldn't dox myself. I don't live there anymore, and I don't think any of my friends do either, so it's not a big deal. Um, and the other one was my school I'm not going to name. You go there. And I made a lot of good friends. I had um, my best friend. Her name was Carly in elementary school. We were friends from, like, kindergarten to third grade. Then I met my, my uh, other best friend named Lyndon, and we were friends. Uh, it, it, this, we're still friends to this day. We're, we're not close, but we're still friends, I would say. I kind of want to bomb to get that money, but there's really no reason for that because we already have uh, <laughs> the five cents anyways, but this technically would be more money, and we can then use this bomb to buy a sack, maybe get a bomb and a key back, and then open up our uh, secret room for something. I I'm, I'm grasping at straws right now, but it still could be useful for us. I'm not going to... Not gonna knock that whatsoever. I'll, I'll give it a try here. I'll give it a, a good old college try. We get seven cents. We can go back and buy the sack, and we're hoping for extra bombs or extra keys, anything like that. Uh, in middle school, I kind of I had my same friend group from elementary school for the first like year uh, because we had this, the the lunch table thing. Everyone knows the lunch tables. Okay, we we kind of like lost a cent there pretty much. Um, everybody knows the whole. Uh, lunch table debacle in schools wherever you sit is going to be your core friend group uh and to make our my school situation even weirder the way our lunches worked is every grade from six seven and eight was split into two groups so you wouldn't have like every single kid uh going into the same like five teachers there were 10 teachers and, like, like 10 five pairs of teachers and they would each get like half the kids so for example if you were on the purple team you would have like Mr. B for history. If you were on the gold team, you'd have like Mr. C for history. It was just split to make the, the teaching situation a little bit easier for the uh, the teachers and make the classrooms less crowded. But it also meant that our lunches were split in half. So you'd only really meet and have half the grade uh, for that year and that you would, who you would see. Because when you would be having lunch, the opposite team would be having their, their little recess period to get their energy out. Um, and luckily for me, in my first year, a lot of my friends were like early alphabet last names. So we all had the same team. We're all on the purple team. I'm going to go in here right now. I shouldn't have gone in here right now, but whatever. I'll just take some more items for myself. I need to get a charge off though. This guy could be good for that. I'm kind of throwing right now, but not in a huge way. None of those items in there were super useful, I don't think. Uh, be careful here. This could this could be a dangerous situation. These guys are, are very rude when they shoot. Um... So I had, like, all of my friends still on the same team. That's not bad either. On the same team. I think. We have flips still going here. Uh, and we all would go to lunch together and hang out at recess and stuff like that. However, I kind of knew in my heart that, like, I wasn't exactly the same as all of these kids. Uh, not didn't have any of the same interests. I was kind of becoming more of, like, a, a gamer, if you will. And they weren't, they weren't huge into uh, the gaming culture, the, the Kekistan culture, if you will. So... Uh, I, I kind of drifted away from them after a while, but I found a new group of friends. Uh, that being, you know, pretty much the four-player file gang was like my uh, middle school friend group and high school to an extent as well. This fight is, with low DPS, all of these boss fights so far have just been actually uh, the the worst. Can I just kill one of you? Like, just just a singular one. There we go. That makes it a little bit easier, at least. Hey. Okay. I just don't want to lose my devil deal chance here if we can manage that. Thank you. Jesus. We're walking in here. Uh, wow, all of these items are trash and not even worth picking up. Flight is fine, but we can... We, I'd rather have the potential for an angel deal right now. So we're not going to do that. Um, I'd rather have marbles on the other character so we can take intentional red heart damage. To, oh, they could have D100 in there, I guess. I don't want to... Uh, it's not. It's too early for that, though, I think. We're just going to take this and move on. Uh, we want trinkets in the ground and stuff like that, even though all of those trinkets, again, are are quite garbage. But we can now take some intentional damage uh, on this curse room to maybe 
Gulp our teardrop charm. Hey, there's so many trinkets lying around. And we're getting all the bad ones out of the way early at least, but I'd rather have the good ones if you know what I mean. There's no reason to even go into your uh, shop. Uh, that's better. I'm going to go for the secret room with a full D100 charge. Thank you for being available. <laughs> a bomb back, money. Uh, we, we can probably hit this. I think. Wow, no drops. My lord. Well, there's it kind of is worth going to the shop now. Uh, I do want to have a spirit heart on this character if we can manage that. This is a character who I still think is very difficult. Um, but you just got to play slow and you'll eventually win the run. And there was no soul heart. I'll buy a great tower card. <sighs> Fan. Fantastic. We did open up that super secret room there. Which was... Oh, actually, okay, okay. No, th this is working for me. Sacrifice rooms exist. Uh, which means we can walk over here. And we can maybe get back into our devil deal with the D100. Or get an angel item. Or fight the angel statues. Get a key piece on the ground. Or two. And roll both of those key pieces into uh, items for Lazarus 1 here. The plays. The plays. But... No, I, I, I think that middle school, like, elementary school is just to get you socializing, so at least you have some friends going into middle school. And then once you're in middle school, I think that that's when the actual learning comprehension stuff starts. You do learn basic arithmetic and reading and writing in elementary school, but I'll be real with you, the kids that were good at learning in elementary school, it didn't always translate over to the higher education. Um, I There's a lot of pressure to do good in every bit of schooling you do whether it be average college um whether it be i uh, can we even do i, I don't want to go much deeper than one more heart so i'll, I'll go once more but i don't want to lose too much here i gotta still be a little bit careful for myself um what was i saying oh yeah so like there's a lot of pressure to succeed in school even at an elementary level which i think is kind of stupid uh because ooh, i'll go one more now Yo, actually, Pasco Flame is really good. I'm not going to roll that. Next is the Troll Bombs, and then it would be the Key Piece, and we can't take enough hits to get the Angel, so I'm, I'm just going to move on. This build is going to be fine, and it, it tier rate up helps, and we have that for extra stuff next floor. Okay, move on. Play it slow, play it safe. And I don't think that pressure is necessarily fair. Like, to be real with you, um, as someone who did okay in school... And, and didn't do too good, didn't do too bad. I, I really don't think that that pressure is, is fair to the kids. I think having that pressure makes people do worse because they're just stressing so much. I had a friend of mine who uh, was a 35 on her ACT and uh, like had a 4.0 graduation. She went into the Met. She's going to be a lawyer now, apparently, which is fucking crazy to me. Um, and... There were some instances in school where I was doing better than her without trying because she was just stressing too much over trying to get good grades and trying to do better in school, which leads to a lot of an unhealthy mental state. I'm not saying school stressed me out because, I, again, I really couldn't care less for school and its effect on me. At this point in my life, I, I realized how much of it did and did not matter. There, there, it's, it's got trade-offs on both ends of that spectrum there, but there is without question... Um, a negative effect that overstress has on kids, and I think uh, it was showing with my friend in that situation. Uh, but she she was really smart, you know. A 35 on your ACT is fucking insane. That that's one away from having a perfect score. In fact, she was so stressed over having a 35, she wanted to retake it for a 36. If that doesn't show a flaw with the education system, I don't really know what is. First of all, retakes themselves are entirely flawed in their premise, and, and second of all. A 35 should be well enough to go wherever the hell you want to go. Kind of glorifying those perfect scores is teaching kids that you can't get away with those mistakes. Oh, why did I... Oh, we're going to get a charge here, actually. Okay. Uh, wafer for sure on this character. Flip. And Guillotine is huge for DPS. We want to be fighting our bosses with this guy if we can manage. But I want to get DPS on both of them. I got to stop walking into rooms without having a full charge. That, that's on me entirely. Um, but it does show that making mistakes is not welcome in higher education, which is a complete lie. Dude, I will say it, my college-level classes were way easier than half of my high school shit. 
there's this huge pressure of like, oh, you better, you know, they're not going to let you get away with this kind of stuff in college. They're way stricter in college. No, they're not. <laughs> no, they are not. Dude, college is the most laid back shit ever. I had a professor who like just didn't plan for a lesson one day and just fucking winged it the entire class. Like they, they really, ooh, big fan. They really do not give a shit. And uh, that's fine. Like, I'm paying for it, which sucks, but at the same time, as long as I'm getting my credits done, that's all I can really ask for. As long as I'm getting my credits and my GPA is, you know, not complete garbage, it's fine. It's entirely fine. That being said, I probably won't go back to college just because I think it was kind of a waste of money for what I want to do with my life anyways, and also, it just wasn't my cup of tea. I'm not into the social aspect of, of college and school that much. I'm not, I'm not a party person. I kind of was a party person in high school. Um, I didn't go, I would say I went to like maybe like one or two every couple of months. I really was not super into the party scene. Uh, and also the parties at my hometown were often like just completely shit. And oh, I got that. I would, there was a freaking pit right there. I went to one college party when I was a senior in high school and that was pretty okay. But being the youngest person there is never fun because people look at you weird and you're like, why am I even here at the first place? Okay. Dolly is good. Uh, I'd rather give the tears up to my... Well, no, you could use the tears up. It's the HP I want to give to my other... Wow. I guess it really doesn't matter anymore, huh? What you got for me in here? This run is, is just really putting me through the ringer right now, isn't it? Why don't we uh, go for... Not, not the mirror section, but just an extra room clear for ourselves. I, I'm okay with doing that. Okay, guillotine dodges are on point today. Thank you. So when are we going to D100 is my question. I think when we have an opportune moment to turn a bad item into a good item, I'm going to use a D100 less as a D4 and more as a D6. Okay. Uh, cursed room for sure. D100 is charged up for potential cursed room roll, and we also have um, red hearts to compensate for taking the damage here. I also want to gulp this trinket if possible to take the other trinkets that are down there. Although they're not the best trinkets, uh, they're still pretty all right. And we got we broke completely even there, and we gulped. So actually, it was it was a success in my mind. Let's grab our trinkets and let's uh, officially move on down. The best thing about D100 gulping is that the trinkets do not get re-rolled. So this is going to be a net positive either way for us. And you know what? I'll do a full clear here. I really don't mind. We can get extra Pascal Flame Charges if we don't get hit here, which we did not. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And there's actually an extra room over here, which I didn't see. Oh, it's the mirror. No shit, huh? Well, now we have an Emperor card, uh, extra Pascal Flame Charge, full health, and we can grab an extra trinket here. These are all kind of, These trinkets right here, the one, even what I'm holding right now, are, are, I think, negative effects for us. But we can always drop them if need be because this character cannot gulp. All right. All that planning out of the way. I think it's it's high noon. It's high time to get on down here. Get on down. But I this like the parties in high school that I went to were either incredibly awkward because nobody knew what they were doing or trying to act cool, or they were just like people got drunk and didn't know how to handle themselves and everyone left and got really uncomfortable. So high school parties I don't think are worth it. It's not your your basic fucking euphoria parties. It's it's just like awkward nerd shit. No matter how cool of a person you are in high school. No high school party is going to be cool. Now, there were a couple that I went to that I enjoyed. There were, like, times where it was, you know, like, oh, we were going swimming at the lake or going to, the, the, the you know, a pool or some shit. Like, just, like, the, the during-the-day parties that were more just focused around socializing instead of trying to be rebellious, those are a lot more fun because it just... Everyone looks dumb trying to... Wow, you, you homed on me there, asshole. I, I need DPS. I need... Like, look at my, my tier rate right now and my range. This is disgusting. Nobody looks cool when they're trying to act cool when they're, like, fucking in high school. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Just, you know, hang out. Don't be a douche and you're going to be all right. And uh, don't get caught drinking at a party because that happened a couple of times. Not to me, but to people in my grade that uh, got a lot of, of punishment for that. My, my town was not uh, nice on the whole alcohol and drug punishments. They were pretty harsh on that. And it led to a couple kids getting in some bad situations that I don't really want to get into in today's episode. But uh, just know that it's, it's, it's not worth it, dude. It is not worth it. No one's going to remember you getting high in your fucking freshman biology as your character trait. 
Dude, we, we need something here, man. Like, I know Pascal Flame is great for the other character, but you get hit once and you're down to 2.73 tier rate. <sighs> we lost our Angel Deal Chance, lost our Devil Deal Chance. Rough character. Anyone who says this character got a huge buff is right, but buff is a very strong word. We need more HP as well. Early game for HP is always a struggle too. Luckily for us, we have our flip ready. A D100, uh, it may be an order here coming up. Although Wafer is a really good item for late game, I don't necessarily want to lose that yet. But if we have to, we have to. I mean, we're going to need DPS sooner or later. A big fan. Honestly, big fan is a great get because we need an orbital to deal uh, most of our fucking damage here. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And one last mushroom. Back it up. Couple more shots, and there we go. Please. Okay, I... <sighs> this is the right order. This is already the right order. I didn't mean... I... <sighs> well, there goes Beelzebub on our other... Oh, I guess it doesn't count because we don't have big, big fan is on an item. It's just a regular orbital we have. Okay, well, that was a waste. I wanted to pop my flip there, but the Emperor card was up to bat. I guess fighting Peep as his character is not the worst thing in the world, though. I would have flipped anyways to fight him as his character. Please, Angel Deal. Please. Oh, no. It is DPS, at least. A Tears Up is always good. The sad thing is now we did lose our extra item room item, which would have been a great orbital to have, but... Misclick. A misclick. I said play slow, and I'm playing real fast and real stupid. I think we're still going to have a good chance of winning. We have a lot of items, considerably. Because of that sacrifice room and our other our other plays so far. And the gulping as well. We have a lot of stuff in our hand. So D100 is going to be super useful. The question for me is though, does it reroll both of our characters? I don't really want to reroll Laz 2. He actually has a great build going on right now. Uh, <laughs> as aside from Laz 1, but I'm sure it'll end up being okay. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I've gotten myself out of worse situations. We're going to be okay. And I still plan... Uh, oh, I gotta mention... Uh, when this episode goes live, it should be a Sunday, and I will be have just gone live as you're watching this with my stream marathon. I'll be playing through every single mainline Kirby game in one stream. I'll be sleeping through stream if I if I have to. Um, if you want to come on by for that, the support will be much appreciated. I know I'm an Isaac creator, but I do want to branch out to other horizons because this community is dog shit sometimes. So if you want to support me and, and my my other. Uh, adventures come by the kirby stream drop a hello if you're from if, you know what if you're from youtube i'll even i'll even shout you out i'll give you uh i'll give you some channel points i'll maybe even gift you a sub if, if you're if you're super kind you never know i got money to spare kind of this month has been really rough on youtube for every creator because it's the uh january february revenue stretch but if, if you come by and you're and you're, you're a good guy you might see a gifted sub go on your way and that gifted sub gives you access to our minecraft server we have going on uh, with our, our Twitch subs and our YouTube members. So if you feel so inclined, you know, it, it, would, it would mean a lot to me personally. But that's this Sunday, today, and probably the next, like, two days as well because some of those games are, like, 17-hour uh, blind casual playthroughs. So looking forward to that, I guess. You're not in here still, are you? Very sad. Very, very sad. I guess you want to go to our cursed room now when we get, our, get back to our other guy, huh? <sighs> HP is looking rough right now, man. It's not looking amazing. This cursed room could be the, the winning number for us. Or this room right here could be. Okay, Tinted Rock could be a secret room pedestal if it's small rock. It was not. But that uh, Spirit Heart does mean a lot to me. I would like to have that on this. Well, actually, I'm going to put it on Laz 2. Because he needs the HP. Yes, the Devil Deal and Angel Deal chance matters a lot. But I think living matters too. I'll have to think about it, because I do want to... We need Angel Deals to make this run way better. And we're also going to be walking out of here as the wrong character, which uh, is a shame. Okay, we have a lot of... You know, pick up pick up two Soul Hearts right now and get the other Soul Heart as your other guy. That That's the play right there. Make this guy your beefy one, if you can actually even kill this enemy right here, because you have no DPS. There we go. Jeez Louise. Walk out. This is going to be a rough run, guys. You're in for the long haul here. This is going to be a while in the making. But I guess we can talk about our question of the day more because there's more to say about that. If I was to give my answer to the my favorite um, 
year of schooling between preschool and all the way up to senior year. I'm going to say it was probably... Ooh, Planetarium! I, I almost... Oh, great hit. I almost want to say it was sophomore year. Because here's the thing. Oh my god, Diplopia's in here. Okay. Two Planetarium items, right? And they're actually really good. And they're actually huge. Okay. This is great for us. Because... With this money... We can take the Plopia. I really want to have the D100 still, though. As well. How are we... Going to manage... That. Justice. Let me think for a moment here. There is a mini battery. I know that exists for our flip. We could have diplopia that we should have diplopia the planetarium, but we wouldn't have had the flip, I guess, if we would have taken that. Um Is that a big battery chilling in that room to the right over there? Or what is that? Because as much as I do want to have D100, uh, I think I'd rather have Diplopia. Honestly. At this point in the run, the D100, I think, is going to be more of a... a ooh, wait a minute. <laughs> I, I take it all back. Um, I take it all back. We're going to take both of them with us. We're going to take D100 and Diplopia. We could even Diplopia the D100 and have two D100s. Uh, <laughs> is that the play? I don't think so. I'm pretty sure D100 is going to affect both of us anyways. Now, there is warrant to saying it would be two rerolls for you. But I would much rather use it, I think, on... A angel deal or a devil deal instead. Honestly, that planetarium might have just saved the run. Saturnus is one of the best items, I think, passively in the game that we've, that we've had in Repentance. And I think that uh, Pluto is also huge for defense, which is our character needs more defense. Preferably more offense, but defense, I guess, matters too. All right. All right. Things are looking safer. Things are looking a whole lot better. I feel safer is the big thing. I feel way safer, but I'm inclined to say sophomore year. So here, here's my ranking, right? Is is I don't remember preschool too much. Preschool was, was pretty good from what I remember of it, but I don't remember it too well. And it's kind of weird to rank your first year of schooling uh, when you were like four years old, uh, higher than when like at any other point in your life when you actually had like an autonomous decision be made for yourself. I think that was, that was really dumb. That was really stupid of me, but I wanted to get in there fast. Um... Be safe in this room. Thank you. Thank you for being safe in that room. Uh, I think, personally, uh, I'm not going to count preschool because uh, I don't. It's it's very faint in my mind. The same kind of applies to kindergarten. While that is definitely more fresh in my mind, uh, I can't recall. I can't differentiate between like kindergarten, first grade, and second grade. Third grade is kind of when that whole, like, thing, I think, shifts. Oh, my God, there's a lot of guys in here. And I can kind of recall specific instances from both those years, or from third grade and up. Fourth grade, I don't... I can't separate fourth grade um, at all, really, from anything else. Fourth grade is a blur that I can't recall. And I will also say... Ooh, I don't even need flip for here. I should have waited, though, for sure. Um... And I will say, 4th grade's a blur. 5th grade is also pretty much a blur. 6th grade, 7th grade, blend together too much. 8th grade kind of stands out, but it does blend with 7th grade a lot as well. Is there anything before, like, freshman year? I really can't recall that much. You know when you're, like, in the moment of, like, an important part of your life, and you kind of think to yourself, I'm going to have memories of this forever? 
I thought that back then when I was in, like, those grades, but looking at it now, like, I really don't remember shit. And honestly, oh, great. That's fine. Like, I don't think eighth grade shaped me as a person very much or anything even before that. The first year I kind of have, like, any memories of is freshman year. And even then, freshman year blurs together with eighth grade and the beginning of, well, no, sophomore year stands out because sophomore year was kind of like the first year I was doing shit outside of school. Like, you know, hanging out with older friends, um, doing dumb shit. That was kind of the first year where all of that sort of changed for me. Yo, death, reverse death is not terrible. We're going to need more HP. I wanted to get a soul heart in there, but it did not seem in the cards for us. You just got to be a bit extra careful. Plus, you have a really good chance at a deal this floor if you don't manage to get hit. Okay, good. We can use... The, we're going to be fighting the boss as the one heart character. Uh, and do I want that? Really, not really at all. Okay. Let's go clear one more room. I don't think we can, we're able to fight that. I mean, no, we're going to do it. We're going to do it. I have faith. As long as there's no explosions going on, I think we're going to be okay. And it's just Gish, dude, brother. We can definitely take down Gish uh, fairly easy, I feel like. Just watch where your body is opposed to your head. And don't take any contact damage, and you won't die. And kill the little Gish as, as fast as possible as well. Okay, he's jumping. He's jumping. And beautiful. That was honestly a good risk to take. A devil deal is really not what I wanted to see. And none of these items... I mean, duality is pretty okay. So let's, before we do anything else, let's take duality so we take it as the right character at least. Um, and I am going to D100. Wow. Uh, that's weird. I guess it d 7 us out of the room. And it doesn't roll our other character. How do we have two planetarium items now? Because we have Venus and Jupiter. Hopefully our devil deal is still open. <laughs> We're also a different character now, uh, which I'm realizing. Let's hope it's still open because those would have been re-rolled items now. Praying, praying. Damn. Okay, we'll take little Gish for right now. Um, so I, I guess because you grabbed either a chest item or a non-item pool associated item, you now have two planetariums in your second character. Which, if we keep D100ing as that character, we are eventually bound to get something amazing. With two, that, that could be Uranus and that could be another Saturnus for us. It could be Mercurius for walking through every room until we find our boss fights. Although the HP, again, is still a bit worrisome. Uh, I like this. I like this. And you have to remember that you do get a D7 effect now. So you can't reroll and just stay in a room, which does suck. So D100 is honestly not that useful at all. We do have three heart containers now from, for whatever reason. I don't know why we have that. Uh, I think Venus is an HP up, and that's what caused it. But I don't remember anything else being an HP up. I can't think of anything. I know Jupiter definitely isn't. Uh, but the second we can D100 as this character, we're going to be D100ing as that character. Uh, hopefully in like a secret room or an item room, a shop. Boss pool even could be useful for us. Uh, either way though. Oh, oh, it, nope. <laughs> no, thank you. I, I, I can walk in there. We have the red hearts for it now at least. Wow. Uh, you definitely don't want to roll goat head. And I think you just want to take that. Because that's good DPS. That's a plus 3 damage. Maybe we don't ever D100 again. I mean, we have 11 damage. Our tier rate sucks, but 11 damage. Ah, but the two planetarium items, though, those could be, like, killer. If you see a good opportunity, do it. But just don't do it willy-nilly. There's no reason to do it all randomly. But if you see a good chance to get a better item, I say go for it. And it wasn't going to be here, that's for sure. Get some extra money for yourself. Because next floor uh, could have a, a crazy-ass, like, four-item shop. You never know. Um, okay. 
yeah, it's move on downtime. This this floor was actually, despite us missing out on almost an entire devil deal, uh, we have duality now for... Oh, goat had duality, I just realized. And on a good character. So, next floor, we actually can D100 a, a deal room and go back into there. Yo, dude, let's go. We can, well, we can walk back in here. And the items did roll into, into even shittier item. Well, not even shittier, but still a shitty item. Okay, okay, okay. I think I'm really only able to rank my high school years. Because to be honest with you... Oh, there's a, there's a library? Hello? That's all I can really recall is my high school years. Everything else, it blends together way too much. Obviously, there's a strong distinction between like... 5th grade and 6th grade, you know, middle school and elementary school, but outside of a change of, like, friends and setting, there really isn't much to go off of. Completely, to be completely frank with you, there isn't a ton, we need speed, a ton to go off of. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Um, this is going to be our D100 room. Is that the Bible? That's Book of Revelations. We have to find a way to get flight in here. Or a lot of fucking keys. Because if we can touch all of those books, that'll be another like eight item item room for us. That is the play for D100 right now. Yeah, sure. Angel deal could be good too, but we get two rolls in there. I mean, we're sitting real pretty. Just one hanged man card is all that I need. Dude, we need speed right now. This is actually embarrassing. 0 0.31 without a binge eater thing going on? That's That's terrifying. We can barely dodge any of these monstro tiers if we wanted to. Just like that. Just like that. Okay. Uh, I almost want a Diplopia in here. In fact, I think I will. Once I touch every book, I'm going to Diplopia, then reroll. We have to get a Hanged Man card or Flight, though. Uh, and I don't know how we're going to do that because there's no bible in there and the bible's the way you get that flight for libraries or how to jump even for just touching all the books you yeah it's gonna have to be uh maybe a wash in there i don't know i don't want to walk back there as the 0 0.31 speed character though that's for fucking sure but the giganta bean is actually working with jupiter to create some massive ass clouds massive ass clouds too was there, there was no how to jump in there, correct? It was just like your basic stuff. It was Book of Rev, Book of Belial. No, it was Monster Manual, Book of Belial. Yeah, the only chance of a Bible being there. There's no Bible even in the rotation right now. Um, yeah. Library might honestly be a wash. We don't even have keys to take advantage of it. If we can get keys, I would rather go in there and make an eight item item room than go to our regular item room for one. So I'm going to wait on my keys as well. I will go to a shop if we get the object. We do have 67 cents for maybe even multiple keys through a sack, um, justice card, stuff like that. A golden key would be the ideal thing on this floor if we can manage that. But the chance of getting a way to fly in the library based off of just like a card or anything like that is way too high to miss the item room though i can live without right now and there was a card drop ah oh, it's an emperor well we got a refresh on our emperor card at least that's nice very thoughtful of you oh my god giganta bean is actually crazy with little dumpy too you know what man you gotta respect the hustle it has you gotta respect the hustle maybe we'll just fight our boss first with like a fool card uh so we can see what's in our angel deal before making any really big plays because i'd love to double sacred heart um that would be a huge thing for me so maybe we'll just go get our fool card back from uh god knows where and we'll just we'll fight our boss first we'll fight our boss first gotta be careful though because if you take it as the wrong character you could never see that again not there it was right here okay perfect thank you and where would our secret room be? I guess is my next question. It can't be here, I don't think. Yeah, no. It can't be adjacent to that. Uh, I wouldn't mind the extra soul hearts. 
Nope, six fires and nothing. All right, perfectly fine. We could ladder across. Oh, we have no ladder anymore. That's right. We don't have the ladder, huh? What a shame. What a shame. Well, I think the play is still go to your boss fight first. I think that is still the play. Now, we do have Sulfur Tears as our other character, so we could break these open um, and hope for a Hanged Man card to drop. <laughs> it could, that was almost a Hanged Man card. You know what? That, that could have been a Hanged Man. And speed up is like the perfect thing. Oh. There's a key for us for our shop. Oh. There's a reverse chariot. What are these card drops right now? My lord. That was three cards and four skulls. Complete hacks on. Let's walk back to our shop. It's very, very slowly here. God, we need... I'm going to have to D100 this build. Although it pains me to give up, you know, Venus, the best item in the game. Um, I'd like to. Oh, well... Oh, okay. Hold on. Um, our plan is now in full effect. An ace of spades and sharp key in there, huh? Wouldn't you know it? Wouldn't you know it? Let's walk back into here. Oh, yeah. That's a good amount of keys for us. And I'll just go to my item room right now because we're already over here and walking back might end up being a pain. It's it's garbage. Don't, don't even worry about it. It's actually complete shit. <laughs> uh, you have 11 keys. It's perfect amount or it's even more than perfect. Let's do this. Let's make this library once again our bitch. We may need to get an extra battery charge somewhere if we can manage that, but that is a question for another day. So, one, two, three, four. I'm going to pick this up. I'm going to use it. I'm going to pick this up, and I'm going to use it. Oh, beautiful. Pick it up. We're bookworm now. Thank you. Watch this as well. Then, you diplopia. You flip, and you touch the extra books that are going to be here because of that. So you don't get any repeats. You pop that. You can pop that too if you feel like it. All of these are, are for your entertainment. As long as they're all touched, you'll be fine. All right, now you pick this back up. All right. This build is actually quite good, I will say. Um... Mars is not the greatest, but Guillotine Tiny Planet is pretty nice. Book of Virtues is good, and the Living Mega Town is also good. We're going to want that as the other character, though. We're going to be keeping D100 for a while here. Ah, okay, watch out. Break all these bomb rocks and stuff. Good. Okay. Um, yeah, we're going to switch off once more. Hoping for one last battery. I think there was there a battery in our shop? I don't recall properly. But th this build is way better. We also get more speed through Mars too. Which I appreciate. Makes it quite a bit faster. Damn, there was no battery. But there is a mini battery. Good. Hey, what is this pill? Puberty. Not the worst thing in the world. Well, depending on who you are. Um... Mmm... Tough one. It's a thinker right now. How we are going to manage. I think we'll have enough. One, two, three. Plus the mom fight. Yeah, we're going to have enough to get another D100 here. Um, which is just what we need. Although we have to enter that room. Oh, no. Now we're okay. There's a battery. Don't <laughs> dash into that man, please. Oh, dude. Not the... God damn it. He was our one hope. And he fucking fumbled the bag there, didn't he? Quite miraculously, too. Oh, that was an insanely good Mars. That was a little risky, but still. Good. Mars is very hard to use as a controller player, but I'm getting the hang of it, I think. We'll get two charges here. Which is good. On the D100. The question is, are we going to have enough for the flip to work for picking up the Book of Virtue stuff? Uh, look for your other... Before you do anything else, you want to go into your secret rooms. If you can find them, that is. We could also do our boss trap room for the extra insurance, but... Again, like, that's... I think that's like, extremely hair-splitting. 
Not up there. <sighs> the car battery just hurts. Truly does just hurt. Hmm. Where could you be? Are you are you like above? No, our starting it can't be there because that's where the home door is. Maybe down? No. Let, let's let's think with our brains for a second here, huh? We beat mom, we become the regular guy. We're able to come in here and pick up the Leniga Town and the Book of Virtues. Good. We won't be able to flip it back, though, to pick up... To re well, to re-roll everything else again. We have to somehow end as this character. And I don't know how we're going to accomplish that. That battery bum really fucking hurt. That battery bum really hurt. It can't be there. Could you be to the right over here? You're probably right here. I'm looking at the map properly. Okay, you were right there. There was no combat in here, sadly. Mini battery? Nope. Um, We have one last try for our ultra super mega secret room. And I have a feeling uh, it can only be in one place. Well, it can be in multiple, but I'm going to guess it's right here. My, my brain is telling me right here. Oh, we're right. Battery bump? Can this even give us anything for our plan to work? I guess it technically could. <laughs> speed up and speed down. Okay, great. That's it? Alright. It could give us... Um... What could it give us? I'm willing to give it a try here, just, just for the grind to work, but I don't know what it could properly give us here, to be honest with you. I should get the Time Machine mod for this game. Having to sit in front of a machine for six hours is a little bit daunting. Hey, don't, don't walk, don't dash into that accidentally there. Sure, I'll pop that, why not? I'm so sliding now, dude. Big mistake. Big mistake. Come on. Just give me somehow, give me a battery drop here out of a card. Like, I don't know. Reverse justice could do it. I honestly have no idea anymore. The soul hearts are nice. Don't get me wrong. Dude. Okay. Well, let's go fight our boss. You never know what could happen. There is an angel deal coming up for us. Go fight the boss and just we'll play it out from there, huh? Wow, Red Mom. I guess Jupiter is really good for Red Mom. Oh, well, not when you're this slow, though. Stop shooting with your eyes. You're supposed to be the Foot Mom. Okay, I'm going to grab the Polaroid here. Well, they're all kind of whatever. Um... We have no bombs for this. Now here's the positive thing, right? Is we can full card now. And we can... Walk in here. And grab this. And we can grab this. Right? And that's good. That's great, honestly. The only way to make our plan fully work here... Is to, well, first of all, make sure you touch all your books, obviously. Um, even Book of Secrets over here. And the, we didn't even grab the Bible last time. I don't think it was it was out of our, uh, our reach. But, and how to jump. There is literally only one way to make this plan work. And I'm going to do it. I am a man of principle. And this room... Is going to be great for uh, Lazarus 2. Okay. As nervous as I am, let's give it a goddamn shot. Good. HP back immediately makes means we're going to be safe for the entire fight here. All we got to do is get enough charges on flip. That's all we got to do. And don't pop your Emperor card on accident. 
obviously. Now we're gonna have officially a a, a a winning run, a complete winning run. The Plopia literally is, I think, one of the best active items in the game. It's done this same library trick for us twice now, and both times it's worked out swimmingly. Now we may not get good items this time, but it's still worth giving a shot to. And once we become the other lads, we're gonna steamroll through our next boss fight here. Plus the Book of Virtue is laying a town. That, that's like a one of my favorite synergies in this game. We're also going to get Binky here, I believe, as the other character, are we not? No, we don't get to pick it up. That's so lame. We have so many soul hearts on the ground as well for... Uh, uh, <laughs> the wrong guy, wrong guy. Uh, the other Laz, so we'll go for that too. Um, before we switch back, because he is going to desperately need this HP. Thank you. <sighs> okay. Eh, it's actually not, it's not that big of a deal, I guess. I'd rather just get my, my plays out of the way with right now. Let's do it. Switch. D100 into Luna, Soul, Libra. But, you know, actually a lot of really good items here. And I'm going to take every single one except for you know what. We're going to have a Libra. Mar Look at that. That's actually pretty damn good. If I do say so myself. And you know what, dude? I'll, I'll take Book of Belial with me. I'll do it. I'm fine with that. Well, no, we're gonna take D100. Oh, it's already, it's gone? No, it's, I was like, where'd it go? It's right there. Wow. Um, I, I think we played very well. I think we got what we wanted there. We have actually a really, really, really good build. Um, we have five over, we broke the tier cap. We also have seven damage. We also have a, still the, the duality hold thing going on there with goat head. Go down here, grab your soul hearts. Take Broken Ankh just in case. And uh, you know what, dude? Move the hell on. This Tandem Lazarus has officially become a BD1P run. Again, we made it our bitch. So you know what I'm going to do here? We're going to fight the Angel Statue because Mega Satan is all the way from the table. Plus, I want to gauge our DPS right now. And our DPS seems to be uh, very good. How are you not attacking me? What are you, what are you doing? What are you doing there? Beautiful. Yeah, we, we do uh, a, a great amount of damage. I will say possibly our last build may have been better. Um, but, but, this was more fun to do. And I had, a, I had a really good rewarding time doing it. Let's end this run off with a bang. Funnily enough, we still only have three damage on our last one. All of that planning for last one to get, you know two active items may only even one technically with book of virtues being a passive now um last two is now worth a dps and we now have the same amount of dps as this character we should have been buffing up in the first place but whatever whatever good play clip worthy play i am i am very happy with this d100 it paid off in dividends there we also did we not open this up with the uh we didn't grab x-ray goggles i guess we didn't grab x-ray goggles that's my bad I thought we grabbed the uh, the X-ray passive back there. Oh, we have the mark thing, right? You gotta actually aim your reticle now. Will we fight Mega Satan? It depends, really. I'm getting the key pieces just in case, um, and it depends which character we are fighting him. Preferably Lazarus too, but I guess I wouldn't mind. Um, I guess I wouldn't mind. Oh, Luna showed us those. I'm also gonna keep, by the way, D100ing as his character. I'm not gonna stop. We have a good build, but we also have more items that could become a killer for us. And I think they might even count for Angel deal now because all of our last pickups were Angel with Laz 1. I don't know how the whole item pool thing works with this, these two characters, but I'm assuming they count as Angel maybe. Because library... No, it would be boss because the boss trap room. Unless that doesn't count for a pool either. Again, I don't know. It's very metagamey here, but I'm ha this is one of my favorite runs I think we've had in a while. It was a very slow start, but it's turning into this really exciting, kind of unique, synergistically cool run. It wasn't me fighting the boss as this character, which I'd prefer to not do, but I guess I can't help it, huh? Come on, dude. There you go. All right, we have the swarm. Let's do it. Now, we do enough damage either way. We do plenty. Get in there with your, your Lamiga Town wisps and all that. You do plenty. Good. If you just made this boss have the feet, like, take actual damage to damage the actual boss, this would be a less annoying fight. As it stands now, 
It is just super armor, the boss fight. Look, there he's already... Again, there was no cooldown there, dog. Whatever. We'll wait on that. We'll walk in here. Oh, it's Godhead. Okay. Yeah, like, sure. <laughs> um, as this character, though? Nah, I'm going to do it as the other character. So, like, I can flip back in D100 the other items, even the key piece in here. So, give me a second here. So, you do this. Become other Laz. Pick up Godhead. Then, you flip d100 again oh it puts you out of the room we can go back in there don't worry we have um nine lives which is not a good lazarus 2 item jacob's ladder though with saturnus uh tauros which is not great infestation 2 which is great saturnus is great venus is great pact and mark are both amazing curse the tower does suck what were our other items in this angel deal is my question revelations is huge and that's pretty good this might be our final build this might be our final build. It looks to be pretty damn good. Uh, and next floor. Now nah, we'll enter around the cathedral. We can fight the womb floor out. I don't see a big deal with that. Let's do it. Let's get um, a big old charge going on here. Yeah, this is going to be our ending build. D100 is done. We're not using it anymore. We have a godhead. Goat head. Equ duality. Uh, I almost said equality there. With Revelations and Saturnus on the other character, and Jacob's Ladder doing insane electricity damage. Brother, I could not have asked for a better situation. D100 can usually be a curse, but I think in this situation, uh, it, it, quite frankly, made this run a winning run. And I, I am all here for it. Like, we could fight Mega Satan now with either of these characters. I think we'd have a free win on our hands. I'd like to have, have Venus be a better secondary planetarium item, but... Honestly, it's not a huge deal to me. Like, Saturnus on, his, Saturnus on his own is better than, like, half of the items in this planetarium pool put together. The only one that can test it maybe is Mercurius and maybe, maybe, um, Uranus. Those two are the only two planetarium items that I think could maybe contest the raw power and DPS of Saturnus. I'd like to get Flight on both of our characters. We have Flight on one of them, but I'd like a little bit more. Watch this. Like, watch this DPS right here. It's it's actually insane. It's not anything, you know, out of the ordinary, but it's better than what it was in the last, like, eight floors of this run alone. We did not make the hush timer. Surprise, surprise. Uh, Spear of Destiny. We could D... You know, we're going to D100 again. We are going to D100 again. Because Guardian Angel, um, we have n no more Angel items. They all became really bad. Okay, so D100 is back on the table. <laughs> they all became really awful Devil Deal items like uh, the Shade, the Fame, Sanguine Bond. We have Uranus and Neptunus now, which are both great with Ease Mascara. Uh, but I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this build right now. If we get a full Neptunus charge, it might not be that bad. Because it is 20 damage tiers, but yeah, maybe not the brightest moment I've had. I should have kept with the insane revelation Jacob's Ladder build, but I'm here to have fun, you know? Let's just Emperor card right away. I mean, we did do a lot of damage there. And thanks to Spear of Destiny in no small part, which is one of my favorite melee weapons and items in the game. And look, Isaac is already dead, so it can't be that bad of a build, right? How is this? Oh, that is so nice. Okay. We're going to keep D100ing for a better build. I don't know why none of those items became angel items. I'm really not quite sure. But. We're going to definitely reroll like everything in that room. If we get the chance to. Which is going to happen like in a couple moments. All we got to do is survive. All we have to do is survive, brother. 
Use Spear of Destiny to its... It, it's honestly, it's an amazing item. It protects you from so much damage. I would argue it protects you from more damage than the fucking shield does out of all of these. Oh, we shred. Oh, brother, we shred. No Mega Satan, sadly. Um, but we shred. It's great room for the chest to have. There's spiders everywhere. All right. One... Oh, no, we can go open the door, like, literally right now. In fact, I will, just so we don't forget. Go open the door, like, literally right now. There we go. Mega Satan door is now open. Clear one more room, and you'll, uh, get your D100 back, and you can maybe get a better build going on there. Double Planetarium items should be a bit more effective than whatever the hell the build we had was. Okay, Jupiter's back. Everybody's favorite. Let's just grab these to have. And we're going to keep D100-ing. I don't think that was an amazing build. We could definitely do better. Although I will say Lead Pencil Neptunus might end up being uh, crazy as well. But I've never seen the synergy work, so i got to figure it out for myself, I guess. Charge it all the way up. Ow. It's really not that good. We also are flying with... What's giving us flight right now? I don't know. I don't know, nor do I really care. What's going on in the secret room? Is there an item in here for us, is my question. There is no item, but the D100 could... Actually, you know what, bum friend? Drop a chest. D100 would have been better in here, but bum friend... Could... Still... Make a difference. He did not, believe it or not. And there's our hangman card from six runs ago. Great. Uh, would have been better to just raw D100 in there, but, you know, I'm not looking for an Arky this run. I really am not. This run's been an hour long already for what I would consider to be no good reason. Uh, just because it was a very, very long run, and that was it. If we fight Mega Satan, we're going to have to get a good roll here, because I don't think any of our builds right now are, are comparable enough. Sissy Longlegs, sure. Why not? Ooh, Okay. All at once. Don't everyone jump up at once. Jesus Christ. <sighs> Revenge fly. Sure. The more items we get, the better, I guess, right? We're going to win the run. It's not even a question. We're going to be winning this run, but a full clear is always fun to do when you have a build such as, as, as a crazy D100 one. Lovely. Oh, no. Oh, no. Thank you. Mom's underwear? Our, our Lamb Gatan has not been that good for us either, I've noticed, which is also quite a shame, but whatever. We'll fight the big room with our better character. That's a better play. Now, we could still use D100 in the secret room and get items to drop in there, but I don't think we need to farm for good items. Just a better build, I would say. Um, just a better build. But I am going to walk back in there and use it anyways just to prove a point that it could become better for us. And I just want to get a better build. It's all I want is a, is, a, is a decent build. It it never happens for me, does it? Terra's great. Terra's amazing. And there is a pedestal in here now. There's actually two pedestals in here. So we, we can keep doing stuff if we want to. Um, the Terra build, though, with that much damage, seems to be pretty insane. We've actually, I think we've seen every planetarium item now, haven't we? We've seen every single planetarium item on this run. With the D100's help and that weird item glitch. You know what? That, that's a success. That is a straight success to me. We've seen... What have we not seen? We've seen Mars and Jupiter. We've seen Saturnus, Sol, Luna. And we, I think we've seen literally every single one. With Terra being our last one, we finally found it. I don't know. I think we, I think we have a, a victory here. A very satisfying and very unique run. With no game breaks going on, just the D100, we've definitely made this run uh, pop off, I would say. Very, very happy with this one. Very, very happy. Whenever you see Godhead and Book of Virtues in the same run, let alone the same fucking character, you're going to be a happy camper. Okay, one of you is dead. I was hit. That's fine. Thank you. All right, one more room for D100 charge, and then we are good to go for a potential... Uh, Death Cert, which I don't even know what I'd do with Death Cert. Probably just make our Godhead character, like, insanely strong with Rock Bottom, and then Star of Bethlehem existing, and then I would just go from there, but 
Again, there's no guarantee of that. Well, there's Glitch Crown already. And this build is just god-awful. <laughs> what the hell is this? Neptunus and Jupiter again? We've seen Jupiter so much. Stop. Okay. Uh, I'll grab Glitch Crown. We'll have some fun with it, shall we? Shall we? I think it's okay. We'll grab Glitch Crown and we'll come back for like a death cert later. I don't know. Uh, I'm just, I'm spitballing here right now, man. Our, our timer, oh, it was, I thought it said zero, 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 but we're exactly one hour now. I know it's a longer run today, but I, when I get a run like this, I always want to make sure I can push it to its fullest extent, and that's why uh, I want your vote for my candidacy in office. Or give me anything else to make this run better. Because holy shit, dude. I have not seen a chest run. I mean, I guess it's nine damage. The tiers just look very small for whatever reason. We've also seen Curse of the Tower and Jupiter, like every single fucking roll it feels like, but who am I to complain? We do have a great run still. We have enough for one more roll in that room, which with Glitch Crown, I guess, isn't a bad thing. We're probably going to be seeing a game-breaking type deal in there, um, which... I'm not, if we see Arky, I'm not going to pop it. This run again has gone on long enough. Um, I like Arky on runs that aren't already that great, and I just want to have like a, a second chance. You know, those are the runs that I like to have it on. Isn't tap shooting like way faster? Yeah, tap shooting is way faster. I don't like Arky on already guaranteed wins. Okay, we have marked. Not my favorite, and we have one last chance for a roll here. Then it's off to the races. We'll finish it off with a bang. Hoping for a death cert. That's all. Hoping for a death start, hoping for a C-section, hoping for a rock bottom. You fucking name it. If nothing comes of this, we wasted our time, and oh well. It was still a fantastic experience. I think out of every Isaac YouTuber, I'm probably the one that breaks the game the most, and I don't know if I take pride in that or not. Genuinely, I, I don't know. Oh, we lose Glitch Crown. Right. So it was bad to do that. Interesting. Oh, wow. Cool. Um, yeah, we'll just grab everything in here. How does this work? Oh, my God. That's insane. Um, let's just go fight Mega Satan. I'm not going to waste my goddamn time on Blue Baby. I'll just go straight up and fight Mega Satan. I'm okay with this. In case it gets dire, we do have the flip to become the infinitely worst character here. We're going to be fine. <laughs> I think we're going to be okay, to be honest with you. Marked is a great item to have for the Mega Satan fight. In my eyes, at least. Goodbye. Goodbye. How are you not... I guess we only have six damage. I guess we do only have six damage, but we do have, like, 30 tears coming out, dog. I mean, I don't know. I wish Star of Bethlehem was here to make this run even crazier, but... I guess it can't appear in this room. And if it does, it crashes the game, believe it or not. If you ever played the uh, the back asswords challenge in Repentance, if you start with Star of Bethlehem, your game immediately crashes. It does not know where to go. There we go. One hand back, and he's already down. The homing helps with Mark to make it a little bit better as well. So overall, just a great finish to a run. If we get the Delirium Portal, I'm not going to do it. This run is already long enough, and I think you guys are aware at this point that I could probably fight Delirium and win with a build like this. If I can no-hit Mega Satan thus far, I can probably beat Delirium uh, with a whole other floor of planning and preparation. Let's be honest. You've seen it before. You've seen it done before on worse runs. The Jacob and Esau run. The um, long time ago Dark Judas run. We went, to, we went to Delirium after the mom fight. You've seen it done before. You don't need me to burst your fucking nuts doing it again. Get as close as you can to deal maximum damage. Okay, buddy. You're dead in three seconds. Oh, my. Oh, we lost our marked. Oh, that sucks. That's actually really bad. We lost marked there. Could have uh, definitely used that. Now we're going to be here for a hot minute, it looks like. Why are you so slow? Thank you, farting baby. You are a savior of this run. What do our bombs look like? They're normal bombs? It's fine. Okay. Do we have, like, stopwatch or what? What? All right. For some reason, we had D7 Wisp. I don't know what caused that, but, uh, well, there goes the Mega Satan fight. <laughs> that was, like, the most anticlimactic shit I think I've ever witnessed. Um... 
Let's just go fight Blue Baby. I'm done. <laughs> I'm done with this shit, dude. I, that was a very disappointing finish there. If we can keep Lost Soul alive, that's all I really want. Lost Soul and our very pale white little mini Isaac down there. I'm done with this shit. Get me out of here. We're going, what, like an hour and ten minutes now? I don't need this shit in my life. Even the best T Laz runs take over an hour long. Very uh, long character. Why did we also switch back? Oh, we fought a room. We fought that one uh, Deadly Sin room. Okay. And are we done here? We're done. Finish it off. If you enjoyed this run and my commentary, a like and a comment goes a long way for a smaller channel like mine. In the meantime, guys, I have been BD1P. Peace out and goodbye.